at least my generation women don't want to admit it that we took on too much mm. and that's impacted on in so many ways mm. you know uh, on us because we we th- we think we can do it all absolutely and i think uh, you know it just kind of highlights that that iconic poster right behind you you just said we can do it all and the yeah. poster says we can do it and yeah. i think there's uh, a history to this there's poster a, there's right? a big history to that poster it started out at a time when there was a significant gender gap it came in at a point in time when women were pushing for equality for rights mm-hmm. when they were saying that you know what we too can actually do it we don't need men to just uh, stand there and tell us that we are supposed to play a certain type of role or occupy a certain position and handle only certain types of chores we are ourselves pretty strong and we have the ability to be able to do a lot of different things and balance out different roles it was at a point in time when we needed that but what it has done is that it's only ascribed more and more onto the plate of a woman but it's not gotten balanced out by providing her more and more support to be able to take on the additional things that she's taking on and somewhere it's become a very skewed um situation that we are noticing around us these days and i think it's not just your generation my generation even a lot of the younger younger uh, ladies that i continue to work with everyone talks about the fact that how they feel Uh, a lot of times unsupported a lot of times not even able to talk about the fact that they are unsupported and that they don't have the space to be able to come out and say that i am stressed because as soon as i say that it becomes about my gender ki ha tum to ye bol sakti ho and you will get away with it and you know or everyone will come around yeah. and try and give you more relaxation and uh, leverages so that you can keep growing and doing well not recognizing that in any case there isn't an equal way in which things are being done and i think that uh, somewhere women are expected to be these superheroes you know who have these superpowers who are going to be doing these multiple things at at the same time you go to work but before you go to work you need to ensure everything is lined up at home uh if you are living with your parents then for them if you're with your in-laws then for them if you have children then to take care of them making sure that while you are not there if anyone has any need no one should be able to turn around and tell you ki tum nahi thi to ye cheez hui nahi hmm. so you have to anticipate plan in advance make sure there are resources available at home enough staff enough help to be able to ensure and that is if you can afford that to make sure that that is there to cover up for when you're not going to be available your own self and keep smiling and keep smiling have about you, it <laughs> have you noticed doctor that we've all been told not to scowl yes. not to feel or not to give the impression also it does but these are also so reflective of the kind of roles and stereotypes that have over the years come and gotten associated with being with what being a woman is all about and uh, you know it's so uh, interesting when you were speaking about uh, the workplaces and how you know a man could be a certain way and a woman could be a certain way and the example that was come popping up in my head repeatedly was how when a woman snaps in the office it becomes about maybe she's on her cycle hmm and when a man will snap it's like boss ne jo bola bahut sahi bola uske boss ne pressure dala hoga uske boss ne pressure dala hoga but matlab uske sath kuch garbad nahi hai and yeah. so you know we have these very different ways in which we even perceive emotional responses or ways in which people are communicating because we ascribe it to certain stereotypes that we have been holding on to a very very long time and one of the expectations that as a result has come on to women is to present themselves in a certain way to uphold themselves in a certain way and to communicate mm. and speak and hold those nurturing roles and be uh, very pleasant and put together at all times even though you may not be feeling up to it and yeah. yes there is a movement which has started happening against that in a way where you know a lot of women has started stepping in and saying that you know if i'm not having a good day i'm not having a good day and if you want to judge me then go ahead you know and do that but i'm not going to be apologetic about this because what that pressure is doing a lot of times it's not just stress this is what is creating a lot of anxiousness it is what is impacting moods it is leading to issues like depression it's causing women a lot of sleepless nights they are feeling they're working so hard they may be putting in a lot of effort but then you're not feeling happy at the end of the day so what's the purpose of it and then you begin to question the larger purpose the larger meaning of what you're doing and the kind of life you're leading and you're almost feeling that you know this is like an endless road 
you know a, a tunnel which does not seem to have any light at the end of it and you constantly feel yourself struggling as a result and that's where mental health related issues tend to blossom <laughs>